The day of reckoning is here. I didn't think it would be here so quickly, but it's here today. Just a quick little walk through before we get started. So over here, I've got my drawers, shirts, pants, pajamas. I've got like shoes and stuff down here. Swim bag, all hangy up items. A plethora of socks, including some that I have turned into fingerless gloves. And the costume box. If you can hear the thundering sound of a hundred war horses, that's the laundry. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the costume box. Costume box is definitely the thing that I have gone the longest without trying on. I feel like a fancy lady. This fur coat is the softest thing you've ever felt in your life. It's so cozy and soft that it looks a little bit like I'm a teddy bear. I guess is isn't a bad thing. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Let's open it up. <laughs> this is a familiar sight, huh? Which hat. It's such a simple thing, but it's so versatile. And a pirate slash pilgrim hat. I'm not a super fan of this, I'm gonna get rid of it. Check it out, it's my graduation gown from BYU-Idaho. That's a riot. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm here to solve a mystery, see? I kind of dig it. Got pockets. We're keeping it. You know, I literally only ever buy high heels as a costume or as a joke, and then I proceed to never wear them ever. I just can't with high heels. The Cape of Destiny! <laughs> Have an apple, my pretty. Okay, I made up this character named Mrs. Hughes and she wore these and this, and this wig. And I never edited that video. I should probably look for that and edit it now. Eh, you never know when you need a long black wig. Maybe for the witch costume. The Harry Potter wand is actually just a branch that I found one time. I thought this is the best wand ever. Expelliarmus. Sorry if I just made you drop your pen. This I just keep because of Halloween. It's just one t-shirt. Versatile. It's just a shiny blue thing. I usually use it as a belt. This was an idea for a character that I had called Hannah the Happy Camper. But until Marie learns how to play guitar, Hannah the Happy Camper is not gonna be making an appearance. She's a guitar player and my guitar chops are not up to snuff. Such a classic bit of rope. I think that it's meant to be specifically a character from Star Wars. There's a Star Wars tag on it. I just thought it looked neat. It's very tight. Very much does not close. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't love that. All right, it's going in the get rid of some. Here's a blonde wig. Why do I have so many wigs? I got a pearl necklace, apparently. I have a real pearl necklace. This is, must be a costume one. Got a very cheap plasticky screw. Must have come with Mrs. Hughes glasses. Mm -hmm. These look like socks. They are actually wig caps. Another fur coat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's been a long time. This feels gross. Oh! Right. Um, I feel fancy, but I also feel like I can't move my arms more than that. I look like I'm doing a dance. <laughs> yeah, so this ain't gonna fly. We're gonna get rid of it. Costume box done! <sighs> Next up, let's look at some shoes. Oh my gosh! I need to work on my back bend. So I don't need to try any of the shoes on. I know they fit. Question is, do we keep them or do we get rid of them? It's commonly said that women have a thing about shoes, which I have seen to be true. But you know, maybe it wouldn't be such a problem if you just made sturdy shoes for women in the first place. They wouldn't wear out so much. Okay, I think this is all my shoes. I'm pretty sure there's one more pair of flip-flops somewhere that's like American colors. But I don't know where they are. So I've got two pairs of boots. One pair is to look cute and one pair is to romp in the snow. I've got two pairs of slippers, indoor and outdoor. Funnily enough, they're both from my grandma. She knows her way around slippers. Got three pairs of tennis shoes. These are from my family and I love them. And these are ones I got from Walmart a while ago. I keep them just in case I ever want to romp around in the mud and I don't want to get these ones super muddy. These flip flops are new. They have lemons. My previous roommate embroidered. I drew on the pattern for her and she like embroidered over it. It's pretty cool. This is tough. I don't really want to get rid of any of them. Oh, I forgot to mention these are summertime church shoes because my church shoes right now are these. But when it gets too hot to wear them, these become necessary. Okie dokie. I feel like nine pairs of shoes is not that much. 10 if you count the America flip-flops I lost. Eh, we already got rid of some high heels, so I call that good. Socks next. We're really just working our way up from the ground. It's the apocalypse. So many socks. I only have two feet. Why do I have so many socks? Oh, well, I guess they're not all socks. Let's separate them into categories. Okay, let's 
take a look. Isn't it wild how organizing things makes them look smaller? It looked like a crazy big pile of socks, but now I'm not so sure. These are not socks, they are scarves. And this scarf and this scarf immediately can go. They're not cute and I never wear them. This one can actually go too. These are disposable slippers that I got when I was in Japan. They're neat, but I have other souvenirs. Then we've got warm socks with patterns and no patterns. No show socks. No show socks with patterns. Knee high nylons. One pair of tights which if I remember correctly, yep, they are checkered. Fat stack of fingerless gloves back here. This type of glove never did it for me because when you truly are cold, these don't help. And if you are going out in the cold, there's snow, you want waterproof gloves. Gardening gloves, very useful, keep. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight handkerchiefs. I wear them in my hair like sometimes, but it's rare. They're all so cute though. Okay, I'm gonna put them with the garden gloves and I'm gonna make a resolution to wear them more this summer to justify keeping them. Now over here we got holiday socks. Christmas, 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 Valentine's Day, Dia de los Muertos. And this one's actually not even a holiday. It's a pizza sock. I say pizza is a great time to celebrate. Those are all staying. Let's see what's in this bag. It is face masks. Woo, flashbacks. One, two, three. So correction, it was three face masks and a whole bunch of no-show socks that I completely forgot that I had. I don't have the type of shoe that this sock makes sense to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this whole bag. I no longer have any ballet flats. And you know what, to be honest, these knee-high skin-colored nylons I never wear either because I just either go full tights or no tights. So they're out. Okay, that wasn't much, but it was something. Let's keep going. Next up, we got the beach bag. Ha! It's a day at the beach, a day at the beach. Who doesn't love a day at the beach? So first off, we have a hat. Lovely. Yeah? Sun hats are fun. This sun hat was given to me by my friend Liz. They're also very useful for blocking out the sun. Not just for the beach, but for gardening. So that's a keep. We got not one, but two <laughs> of these. Hawaiian pattern. I'm certain there's a proper name for them. Do I need two? Hmm. I'll think about it. This fell out of the top. This is the swimsuit I use most often right now. It's got shorts and a top. And it looks nice and modest, doesn't it? This top part right here comes a little bit lower than I would like. But until I buy a better swimsuit, I gotta hang on to this one. So it's a reluctant keep. What do we got in here? Oh, we have a beanie cap. Yeah, I remember this beanie cap. Typically it's a wintertime sort of hat, but I remember getting, I found it somewhere like in the garbage and it had a huge hole in the top and I was at work and I worked in landscaping at the time. So I asked the dudes I worked with, hey, does anyone have any string? And he's like, no, but I got fishing line. And I was like, okay. So I used fishing line to repair the hat. I forgot all about that. Well, now I feel bad if I got rid of it. I patched it up and I'm keeping it, but I'm not keeping it in the beach bag. Right, um, oh. This is a skirt thing that I always wear around the swimsuit. Nice, huh? I also found this one in the garbage. It's got some very cool patterns and it's a wrap around. Material is very light and flowy. I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's nice as a keep. And just an added bonus, it matches the current swimsuit. I have, ooh, <laughs> a shell necklace. Look at that. I only keep this because it's beachy and I want to look cute when I go to the beach. That can stay actually a lot of jewelry in here. These are some bracelets that I made. I made all of these bracelets except for this one. This one looks pretty and is cool, but the reality of actually wearing it, not super fun, so we're getting rid of it. This one I made at a family reunion. This one I made a while ago. It used to lie flat, but it curled because of the water. This is the first proper friendship bracelet I ever made in my life. Pretty good. And then there's this one which says the word summer, but the end keeps unraveling. And it's very not safe for the beach, so we're getting rid of it. Ooh, this is cool. Gotta love me some stickers. And on the back too. Ooh, who are you? I gotta know what's in here. It's gum. Just in case I need a fresher breath at the beach, I guess. A sweater. White sweater on the beach, I'll tell you why. It reflects the most sunlight. So you get the most sun protection bang for your buck out of a white sweater. And this one has a little stain. So I don't feel bad at all about taking it to the beach and getting it dirty. This is a swim skirt. It's a nice alternate. I went to the beach actually earlier this year and I forgot that I had this. Oh no, there's a hole starting to form. That's sad. Ah oh, well, 
Can't swim with a wardrobe malfunction. There's this one. A classic one-piece swimsuit. It looks like this. It's meant to be so that the spaghetti straps go over the shoulders and these come around the side. Kind of like that. But I've been wearing it like this, where these kind of act as sleeves. And I haven't been wearing it very much. It's nice, thick, strong material. Got it from my friend Anna. Oh, kind of like with these ones. I'm not sure, so maybe. <laughs> See, I told you I had America flip-flops. They are very dirty, which is perfect for the beach. How often do I, like, go to the beach? I live near the Hiram Reservoir, which is a lake that has a beach. I haven't been going recently because it's cold. I guess I could go more. Anyway, I'm gonna hang on to these. And there's this. This shirt is awesome! Look at it! Look how shiny it is! I found this at DI and I could not have been happier. It's got rhinestones! <laughs> yes, keep, definitely. That one sparks joy. Sunscreen, it's super important. As I learned over the years, getting burned myself and watching other people get sunburned. <laughs> I'm gonna be a sunscreen queen this summer. So much sunscreen. And that's the beach bag in full. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Marie, why are you not trying on any of the clothes? I would have loved to see you in a swimsuit. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't want to try on all the clothes because many of them I know how they fit. But for you, we're gonna do a fashion montage. Ready, set, go! Pants, pants, we all love pants. Oh, pants, 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 pants. Actually, I don't love pants. <laughs> it's been a couple years since I've worn actual pants. Most of my quote-unquote pants are actually leggings. They're just more comfortable, more practical. As you can see, I have a buco amount of black ones. Here are the two actual pairs of pants I own. This one is amazing. I got it at Target in the men's section. It has seven pockets. And the pockets are big enough for like a water bottle. It's wild. And these ones were white. I tie-dyed them. I love how they look. Don't love how tight they are around the middle section. And then this is my favorite pair of pajama pants. Honestly, out of these, I don't know which one to get rid of. So we're just going to keep them all. Now I'm going to be modeling for you some of my work outfits. My job is cool because I am a hybrid worker. I work part of the time in the office and part of the time from home. This is a typical work from home outfit. No shoes, but still presentable. Conservice is the name of the place where I work. I have a few other items of Conservice merch. So this is my laziest Conservice outfit. It's just a t-shirt, it's a casual Friday kind of shirt, but sometimes I'll wear it midweek. Why limit casual Friday to just Fridays? So this is an in-office outfit. I try to class it up a little bit with a skirt, wearing shoes, still repping the conservice. I've got a little collar moment. So this is classing it up even a little bit more. I've got the blazer, I've got the skirt, got boots, same boots. Still repping conservice. Button it up. It's just a little tight. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's supposed to fit like that. Superman got enough fitting on me. Actually, Superman does have something on me. It's the ability to do buttons quickly. This is Conservice Classified. This is obviously an in-office look, but it's missing something. I'll tell you what I admire about men. They do this whole thing with one of these on. It is... I can't lift my arm very high. And yet they do this thing and they tie the tie perfectly every time. Honestly, it's impressive. It's a skill. And you form the knot. <gasps> and that's... The look, feeling very profesh. Although I gotta say the combo of the tightness of the arm in the button down and the tightness of the arm in the blazer is wild. This is how high I can raise the roof, this high. The arms don't go any higher. <laughs> Could swap this out for a sweater like this. This is great for winter time. I just like this sweater in general. Something about the wide vertical stripes is very cozy to me. Let's try a different tie. You might've seen it on the table over there. Do you believe in life? The love. And there we go. Nice. Wide ties for me because skinny ties, they kind of get lost. Wide ties, like, yes, I made a decision to wear a tie today. Bask in it. This one's got a nice wide neck. There we go. And with this particular sweater, I actually like to roll it up and cuff the sleeves like that. Now, this is an outfit which says Marie is at work and ready to work. Not that all the other outfits didn't also say that, but this outfit in particular, it's a winner. Right, that's it for work clothes. Let's take a look at my formal wear. Starting off with this little number, it's very flattering. I love the color. It's got pockets. Watch the arm range. Oh yeah, I'm a windmill. Woo, 
I'll pair it with this little jacket. It feels very stylish. Like I'm ready to walk down a runway. Of course, denim isn't super formal. This jacket feels formal. It feels authoritative. It's like, all right, what do we got here? I like the jacket. It doesn't quite button. I mean, it does button, but not comfortably. I can just wear it open. All right, next up is this blue piece. This shirt was a gift from my friend Liz. I love it. It's very light, very flowy, perfect for summer or winter, honestly. I paired it with this skirt. I don't love the skirt. I just bought it because I didn't have a white skirt and I wanted to be able to pair this with something. So it might be time to get rid of the skirt. I mean, look at that skirt texture. It's lace. I have no qualms with lace. Just on me, it feels weird. Moving on. This dress is very summery. Springy summer. Light, flowy, comfy. These sleeves are very romantic. All in all, it's a banger of a dress. I feel like it's formal enough that you could wear it to church, but comfortable enough that after wearing it to church, you can come home and take a nap and not have to change. Of course, if I do wear it to church, I usually pair it with like a sweater or a cardigan or something. Just, just class it up a little bit. This one, I'm not going to put on. I'm just going to show you. This was a gift from somebody on my mission. It's a traditional, it's inside out actually, <laughs> traditional hand-stitched Mexican dress. It's very nice. The embroidery is very impressive. However, every time I wear it, I feel just a little bit like a sack lunch. And so I really only wear it on like Cinco de Mayo or the 16th of September. So it's gonna go in the memory box for right now because I don't want to get rid of it, but I can't keep it with the rest of my dresses. I love this dress. I've worn it to several weddings. It is so flowy. It's the flowiest dress I've ever put on my body. The stretch is real. Let me just check something. Got a pillow? Oh yeah. I could easily be pregnant in this dress. Hey there, yes, I'm expecting twins. So we're getting weird. And I always like to pair it with this cardigan. Super cute, super classy, feeling sassy. Yes, this is a definite key. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of this dress. Oh no! The edge has a thread coming loose. I'll fix it later. Now this one's a hard one. Because it's cute. Obviously the dress is cute. I'm in it. But I mean, it's cute. It's got extremely flowy sleeves. Like you can't see it right now, but the whole entire under everything you can see in there. It's very exposed on the sides. It's like, here's where the hole starts. I'm always having to fiddle with the shoulders to keep them correct. Which is annoying. And the way I circumnavigate this, is with this sweater. Now this sweater I got at DI, it doesn't have any sentimental value for me. I literally got it to match the dress. Plus the dress is like longer in the back and shorter in the front. Don't know what that's about. But now I'm thinking the only reason I have this sweater is because it matches this dress. And the only reason I have this dress is because it matches this sweater. They're a set. And I don't feel like as enthused about this as I did about the red dress. It is the only pink dress I own. I do have some pink t-shirts. A dress dress is the only pink thing. I think it may be time to get rid of this one. You know what? My heart is saying get rid of it. We're getting rid of it. Okay, whoa. Did you like put on a dress and forget that it requires an undershirt? I just did that. There we go. Yeah, this dress is one of those um, like nursing dresses. It requires an undershirt. The length is just exactly where it needs to be. But if I were to turn around right now, you would see that it's iffy. This is a summer dress. You're supposed to wear it with no tights. But if I were to do that, I fear that the wind would expose me like Marilyn Monroe. No one gifted me this dress. I don't remember where I got it. Probably out of a dumpster. <laughs> I say that as a joke because I, I like to go dumpster diving a lot and I find a lot of cool stuff, including clothes. But I don't love this dress. We're getting rid of it. You see, now here's another situation where I just have the one thing because it matches the other thing. I only have the other thing because it matches the one thing. This cardigan is fun. It's very flowy. The sleeves are very floppy. Doing that just now, I realized I really like this cardigan. I don't want to get rid of the cardigan, but I'm not so sure about the dress. Let's take a look at the dress. As I'm taking this cardigan off, I realize the main reason this dress fits is because the material is stretchy. I love stretchy material, but not when I have stretched it to its fullest extent just by existing. <laughs> it's good. It's got this interesting kind of pattern. It's like two phones facing each other and then a globe inside some boxes. Or rather, I guess those are flowers. They're very, the pattern's not cute is what I'm saying. I mean, there's some variation on the arms, but again, look at the arms. Can't see it. There's a seam right here. And there's a fold right here. They're like digging 
into my shoulder. Our mobility test. It passes. Barely. Oh, I don't really have any other like black dresses, but I don't love this. Shape good, color good, pattern bad. I'm getting rid of it. Buttons, my old enemy. This is what I call my job interview outfit. It's red, so it's bold. I've got the coordinated maxi skirt with the uh, cardigan. They are both the same material, surprisingly. I got them at different times from different places. I forgot to cuff my sleeve. But this says, hello, I'm a professional and I'm ready to work. That's what this outfit is saying to me. The jacket and skirt combo, winning combo. Love it, would never part with it. Don't know so much about the shirt. Take a look at the shirt. The shirt by itself, it's meant to be three quarter sleeves, but my arms are short, so it just looks like it's a little too short for me. I guess you're supposed to button these, but I never do because that's too tight. It's got this interesting pattern of like two buttons, two buttons instead of one button all the way down. It's actually a really smart move if you're like thinking, okay, I got a button. Oh, that's not the right one because it's not two holes or two buttons or whatever. So I like that feature of it. The neck feels good, which is rare for me in collar shirts. I'm kind of eh about this shirt, but besides the white one with the Conservice logo on it, this is the only button down I got, and I may have to go to a job interview someday. Fine, you win! Let's move on to shirts. The time has come for shirts. I'm starting with this one. This one used to be more pigmented. It's tie-dyed, but every time I wash this thing, some of the color comes out. I used it when I was taking boxing classes, and since it was stinky every single day, I washed it frequently. It's still comfortable, so I'm gonna hang on to it. This one was a gift from my friend Anna. It is nice and roomy. Perfect for working out. So it's got this Nike symbol on it. I don't love the look of the Nike symbol. It's so swish. Well, yeah, but eh, it feels uninspired. Nevertheless, it's always good to have two workout shirts, so I'm gonna hold on to it. So I've got this Superman shirt and this Superman shirt. They are the same size. This one I like better because it's more classic colors, but the material is kind of old. This one feels stronger. <laughs> And so I'm not sure. Might just get rid of both of them and try to find a better Superman shirt. We'll put them in the maybe pile. This one says, who needs luck when I have charm? I bought this just to wear on St. Patrick's Day. And you know how sometimes you buy a thing that you only wear once a year and you literally only wear it once a year and sometimes forget. But other things you buy and they just work. I've worn this shirt quite a lot, a surprising amount. We're gonna hold on to it. So these two shirts are my Kentucky shirts. This one says Kentucky inside a heart, and this one says y'all inside of Kentucky. And I like both of them, so we're gonna keep them. This one was a Christmas present, if I'm remembering right. It is tight. It is like tighter than all my other t-shirts. It still passes the movement test, but Mandalorian slash Star Wars. I watched the first few episodes of Mandalorian, but I wasn't able to get into it. So I think it's okay to let go of this one. You know, this one fits better. And so does this one. I got them both at the same time. They were gifts. When in doubt, dance it out. I can get behind that. And music is my happy place. It's true. Fun fact about this one, I designed this. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this snazzy shirt design was all mine. I chose everything except the colors. LIFT, let's invest in forever together. It's an acronym. And then you got people climbing, pine trees, and all the names of my family on the back. Definitely keep. This one and this one both are pajama shirts and they are the softest things you've ever felt in your life. And they both match the mermaid pants from earlier. So keep. I found a bobby pin. We're getting into long sleeves now. Without any explanation, this is a keep. Now this is one of my all-time favorites. Love the way it looks, love the way it feels. The range is great. The sleeves kind of dark color compared with the lightness. It's just a look, it's a vibe, and I love it. This is for my mom. It says Hershey's and it's one of my favorite colors. Listen to that wind. There is a slight green paint spatter, and so I kind of use it as a paint shirt, but it is quite cozy. As we move into the jackets, I'm gonna put this shade shirt on underneath. This is not a jacket, it's a flannel, the only flannel I have. I basically just use it when I'm either gardening or cosplaying as a cowboy, like when I go to a country dance. It's not very shaped. It does button up very nicely. It's loose enough to get work done. I'm gonna hang on to it. You know, I feel like this summer I'm gonna get into some gardening. This one is a tricky one. Got a hood. I never wear the hood. I always wear it like this. Do you like the design? Me too, because I drew it on here. That's right, ladies and gents. I took a fabric marker 
And I drew this design and I love the design, but the garment itself is not super fab or comfy. A little pinchy in some areas, but since I dedicated time to make it awesome, I'm now conflicted. Let's put it in the maybe pile. So here's a little denim number, which I was going to customize. I thought this looked like the perfect sky blue. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna cover basically the whole entire thing with like white clouds. But to do that, I would have to bleach it. And then the bleach might turn it red or something. And so I just haven't gotten around to it. The pocket does go all the way through the other side, which is fun. It's a pretty good fit. I love when they make things with wide necks. For some reason, I feel like my neck just needs a lot of personal space most of the time. So things with tight necks, I don't really like. This feels good, I'm gonna hold on to it. This is another one from my mom, Wonder Woman. It's got a little crown on the hood. I don't usually wear the hood, because I never wear hoods, but the crown is there if I need it. I actually like to take this one on walks after I get off of work. It makes me feel powerful. Keep. This is a fun one. Funnily enough, this one goes perfectly with those mermaid pants from earlier. They're both just pink and a little bit psychedelic and it's so soft don't tell anybody but i got it on wish.com don't buy things on wish.com it's a bad idea but i'm glad about this it's one of my favorite hoodies that i own i think it is my favorite hoodie that i've ever owned in my life it's just so fun and it's light it's not super warm so it can be worn in the summer enough about the galaxy hoodie time for hobo hoodie i wore this hoodie when i was a hobo in war for peace it's your most basic gray hoodie it's got a stain, although the stain is faded over time. I actually usually reserve this one for campfires because I don't want my nice hoodie smelling like campfire. And I have to admit, it fits, so we're gonna hold on to it, just for the summertime. Something I was thinking about was how men and women take off shirts differently. For women, we start at the bottom, cross our arms, each hand holds one side of the shirt, and then we just pull up. Like we're unwrapping a present. Sometimes said present gets stuck on your glasses. <laughs> Ow. Oh, there we go. But guys start from the back and pull. I'll demonstrate in a second. Look at this hoodie. This was a plain black hoodie. And then I took bleach and an old paintbrush and I painted on it gently with the bleach. And I let the bleach soak for like an hour. So now there's a wing pattern. And these are supposed to be cherry blossoms. But when I showed my friends, they were like, oh, cool popcorn design. <laughs> Do you see the subtle, like, sparkles between each blossom? I thought that that very clearly communicated cherry blossoms, but apparently not. And then the back, it's two koi fish. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's two koi fish. They're circling each other. Got a little bleach happy, so I put some on the sleeve and on the edge of the pocket. And I spilled some. Did I put anything on the hoodie? I don't remember. No, just the edge. Anyway, I customized this. If this was still the same old hoodie that it was before, plain black, I would have gotten rid of it. But since I put forth effort to make it look cooler than it is, I think I'm gonna make this my new campfire hoodie. Sorry, hobo hoodie, you're out. Popcorn sleeves in. You gotta embrace it, right? So this is how guys take off their shirts. They like bend over and grab the back of the shirt like this. And then they pull. And they just pull, pull, pull and it comes off, which is a wild concept to me. I wonder if there's like a secret third way of doing it that men and women could do. Try it on the next one. <laughs> Excuse me. Class of 2022. This is a hoodie that I bought when I graduated from college because like as souvenirs go, a thing that I'm going to use most often and probably see the most often is a hoodie. It's very soft, nice and comfortably oversized. It's a keep for sure. Now, let's try to determine the third method. I'm thinking I'm gonna start with the pockets. I'm gonna flip the pockets upward. I'm gonna dig one elbow in each side. Whoa! That was actually more smooth than the other two things that I tried. Ha! Huh, who knew? You don't have to cross your arms, you don't have to bend over. Just elbow, elbow. Of course, it probably just works with oversized stuff. Trying to get elbow, elbow in the sides of a shirt might not work so well. Here is what I call my pajama hoodie because it's so lightweight and soft. I wear it as pajamas. It's got a pocket, but honestly, I never put anything in the pocket. Same with the hood. I never wear the hood. That's not true. Sometimes I wear the hood 
as pajamas when I'm worried about bugs. Does anyone else worry about bugs crawling in your ear when you're sleeping? Because I do. Usually I can just like lay down, because I'm a side sleeper, I can lay down and put my like hair over my ear like that. But every once in a while that doesn't feel sufficient, so I'll put the hoodie up to like give extra protection to my exposed ear holes. Anyway, it's a keep. See how I instinctively went for the female takeoff there? It's ingrained in my mind! This one I found when I was dumpster diving with my grandma when I was a teenager. It was big on me back then. Now it's a little bit of a better fit. Again with the hoodie. You can't see the hem, but the hem is just below the pockets in my pants. So it's nice and long. When I was growing up, I always used to wear jeans, like consistently, with just a t-shirt. Jeans and a t-shirt, that was me. But the problem was the t-shirt came like perfectly to the top of the jeans, and the top of the jeans came perfectly to the bottom of the t-shirt. And so anytime I sat down or bent over or stretched or raised my arm up, there was this like problem area. I was always tugging on my shirt, trying to keep it down. Experimented with different, like tying my jacket around my waist was a really popular one for me when I was a kid. Cause I could just cover up the entire problem area. But a garment like this, that's just whoop, can't, you really can't see. <laughs> a garment that's long enough to cover the problem area is the kind that I aspire to own. It's just nice. Look how far I can stretch without it revealing anything. Let's try the elbow elbow method with this one. Oh, that was so easy! Have I been taking my shirts off wrong my entire life? That elbow elbow method is way easier. Right! Last one. One that I bought to customize. Bought it thinking, I'm gonna sew things onto this. I'm gonna make it really hip and cool. I'm gonna add like yarn and patches. And then I bought it and I was like, it's so comfortable. It is Huge. Eat your heart out, Batman. Big. And the inside is so soft that I feel bad trying to alter it. And so what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna eventually buy a different black hoodie to customize that's not this one. But for the time being, keep. Definitely keep. Whatever I'm feeling like I need a little bit of coziness, but not too much coziness, this is my go-to. All right, we did, what did we do? We did shirts, pants, shoes, socks. What's left? Hats. I grab a scrunchie. Let's see how Bobby Pin. Let's see how I look in these hats. I'm gonna be real honest with myself right now. I don't think my head was built for hats. Train conductor. Choo choo. Yeah, no. Maybe this one will be better. It's more dainty. It's certainly more dainty. I look a little bit like a newsie. Maybe a girl newsie. My hat looks a little bit like it's made out of paper. I don't love that. This one I actually got at DI. Maybe I'm just not wearing them right. Hold on. Got it at DI. <laughs> I look so silly. Oh my goodness. See how my face is just like, and the hat is like. I want so badly to be one of those cool kids that can pull off this type of hat and be like, ooh, yeah, I'm artistic. But, I think I'm gonna pull off this type of hat. I have another one here. It's corduroy. For some reason, maybe it's just the color. This one is looking better than the others. Still not, like, great. Hello, Govna. It's very Londonish, doesn't it? Everything in London is red or not red. If you watch, you can see it slipping off my head. <laughs> Hard because I don't, I don't really want to keep any of these hats. Although that one was a gift. Let's try this one. Oh, all right. This one I can actually get behind. For some reason, I don't have a problem with this hat. It's probably, most likely, just the colors that are catching my eye. Because the shape is still wanting something. I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one <laughs> I bought for a costume that I never end up using. Don't love it, so it's going. This one <laughs> doesn't fit on my head. It's a small hat. I put it at the biggest setting it can go to. Almost the biggest. But I think this was a gift from my grandpa. Some hats are wall decor and that's what this hat is. Just got my school on it and so I'm gonna keep it to decorate the wall with. That left me with one. Am I really gonna get rid of five hats today? That feels drastic. If I was gonna keep one more hat, it would be between these two. Now they're both going. I apologize. Also, I forgot. I've got two coats. I've got this coat and one other one. This is a leather jacket. Pretty nice. It does not comfortably button. While I will admit that leather can look really good on people because of the shininess. I don't love the look on me. Also does not pass the flexibility test. I'm gonna check and see if this is real leather because real leather lasts lifetimes. So I'm just gonna check as soon as I can get these buttons. There we go. There's that tag. Oh, genuine leather. Polyester lining. Does leather have a smell? 
I think so. It smells like leather. Okay, well, I'm on the fence about this one. I'll put it in the maybe. True story about this one. I bought this when I was on my mission. Sorry, I stuck my hand on the inside bucket. There's something in there, actually. I found 40 bucks. Yo, that was such a delight. Goes to show you how long it's been since I've worn this jacket, because I forgot that was in there. <laughs> Dude, I could go buy peanut butter or Nutella. Getting distracted. And there's something in these pockets too. Oh, yeah, this is my beanie cap that I normally wear when it's cold or snowy. Keep it in the pocket for convenience. And in the other pocket, we have the gloves. See, earlier when I was talking about those gloves that don't do anything for you, these are the gloves you want. It says 100% leather. So these are real leather gloves. They're waterproof, they're snazzy. I wonder if they match. Mm, it's not quite a color match, but it's pretty darn close to the leather jacket. But anyway, this coat I bought when I was on my mission because everybody on my mission, like the ward members, were worried that I was gonna get cold. And so they told me, Hermana, go buy a jacket or a coat from Burlington. And Burlington is a store just for coats, which is wild. Payless shoe stores, but for coats. Except it wasn't Payless, it was Pay More. So I bought this. It's a very sturdy coat. It zips up great. It goes down, halfway down the thigh. So it's long enough without being annoying. If you really want to bundle up, there's a hood. I think obviously we're gonna keep this one because this is the only coat coat that I own. I have a leather jacket and this coat. And if it ever gets cold, I'm gonna want it. So let's put these back in the pockets where they go. And I'm getting toasty. And I think that's it, y'all. We ended up getting rid of three trash bags of stuff. I'm gonna take it to the DI. Someone else can enjoy it. We did it! We went through all the clothes. <sighs> Feels good to get rid of stuff. Ciao for now. Oh, honey, honey.